Hey YouTube, um, I'm gonna show a video about my Harmony collection. I've been a been a horror fan since I was in, around seven years old, and I've been a horror fan ever since. These are just a few that I have. I don't I don't have a big collection like some other YouTube YouTubers, but I'm barely starting and it's going with. I have the original Carrie. Uh, I believe this is um, uh, 1976, I think. Yeah, probably about 1976. This movie was made. It's a really great movie. I I seen the remake. It's good, but not as nothing but the original. I have Chernobyl Diaries. I remember seeing this in. In, I'm not sure if it was in AMC or I don't know where it was that got me into it and it's a pretty pretty good movie but the thing that kind of don't get the ending I mean what happens with the girl at the ending I mean is she alive or does she get turned into one of those creatures zombies types mutants I don't know what it is next up is um, Chris of Chucky uh, Chucky, it's, I mean, I've seen all, all six child Chucky movies. Um, Chucky probably ch makes my favorite franchise, probably. Um, my first horror movie was Child's Play, the, the original one. And unfortunately, I don't have the rest of the five movies which I'm planning to get. So, yeah. Darkness Falls. Some of you, some some people confuse this because of the Tooth Fairy. Well, here let you know, it is about the Tooth Fairy. Some people think it's about, you know, something else like a ghost. Well, it's technically about a ghost, but it's based on the Tooth Fairy. As you can see here. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can see. Let me open it. I think you see the slogan here. It's, I don't know if you can see the camera. But I'll read it in there. An eye for an eye, your life for a tooth. It's pretty creepy to me when I first saw it. I don't know what, like, I don't know what got me into getting it, but it's a really good fun. Next up is the remake of Dawn of Dead. Actually, it's not a bad movie, but the original it's slightly a little bit better. I mean, I mean, in this one you have more gore, zombies, you know, everything better, but. Your, the original, it's gotta be better, in my opinion. Dead Silence. Mm. I kind of, well, it is by the creators of Saw. This movie creeped me out when I first saw it. I mean, just the thing with the dolls, and then here's the big Mary Shaw. They wear the Sarah Mary Shaw, blah, 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 blah. All that mumbo jumbo, but it's a good movie. And uh, this is the unrated version, which um, it would have been better if it was like the regular version, but it's the same thing. Next is the movie that made Bruce Campbell famous. Yeah, you got it. The Evil Dead, the original. Um, I gotta say, by a low budget movie, this movie became probably. One of the best zombie movies, zombies slash spirits, I don't know what, what you want to call it, movies I've seen in a while. I got this, I think it was a Kmart for five bucks, so it was a good deal. And I like this, I like the cover, I mean, you know, the original cover. It's really cool, awesome. I'm trying to get Evil Dead 2 and The Armor of Darkness sooner or later. Next up, probably my favorite. Favorite, no, not not probably my favorite, but, but one of those top those movies that every horror fan has to see. The Exorcist, scariest film of all time, and I kind of agree with it. When I first saw it, it creeped me out. The the um, masturbation with the crucifix that kind of freaked me out. The head turning, the spider walk. If the only thing that I have about this if it was the original cover, but it was I got it for five bucks, so yeah, I don't complain as long as I get the movie. 
Next is the um, first uh, destination. Really, there's nothing to say about this. It's a really great movie. I think it was made in 2004, I think. A really great movie. It's something out of the ordinary. Never seen another movie. And then, but, well, yeah, it's a really good movie. I seen all the rest, and I'm trying to plan get them like sooner or later. I'm planning to get at least part two, and then the rest will just come in handy. Um, this next movie, well, I'm trying to get the real. It's Furious Jason. This is not the actual. Well, it is the actual movie, but it's you know. Uh, let me try to open this. This is one of my one of my uncles gave it to me. See the DVD. It's not the actual one, but that's the movie. I think he got it from some guy, and he gave it to me as just you know, like he I know that's horror movies, but uh. You know, I had it ever since, and I'm trying to get the um, the actual one. So if anyone knows where I can find this in stores, please comment on it. I'm really trying to find it. Next is the, um, John Carpenter's Halloween, not the Rob Zombie. I mean, still it's a good movie. It's a funny story about how I got this. I went to a flea market about um, three months ago. I was look, I was looking at some powerful movies and I actually found this. I I've, I've seen all of the Halloweens, especially H2 and Resurrection, which some people say it sucks. But I like them. Even the Rob Zombie ones. I like both of them. I mean there's no material in that. But like I said before, nothing beats the original. And I like this cover because you know it has the the, very, the pumpkin, the Halloween 3 effects, and all that. I don't know what you call that. Next movie is Insidious. Most terrifying film since The Exorcist. I don't agree with that. I mean, even though it's a good movie, I remember watching this in theaters with my cousin and it scared the hell out of me. Maybe because of the, um, of the sound and all that. But after you see it, it, um, over again you kind of know everything and it's not the same scary but still it is pretty scary and then I'm, so yeah and I'm trying to get part two um, sometime probably next month next up is Stephen King's it Pennywise the clown for first of all when for before I saw this movie I had no idea this even existed I mean, I saw videos on YouTube, I thought it was just one of those YouTube videos that a fan made. But then one day, one of my friends said it was an actual movie, and I was like, holy shit, there actually is a movie. So, I saw it, and I decided to buy it in my collection, and, you know, it's a pretty scary, well, not a pretty scary clown, I used to be scared of clowns, but not anymore, so, uh, it's an okay movie. Jason goes to hell. But I know a lot of people are gonna say say it sucks and all that, but I actually like it. Jason goes to hell. I know it's not it, I know the story doesn't match up with the others, that Jason dies at the beginning and he transfers his I don't know what his soul to different bodies and all that, but I pretty like I like I like the movie a lot. I mean come on, it's Jason. And I don't have the rest of um Friday thirteen sequels which I'm trying to get them as well hopefully I can get those movies by the end of probably by my birthday which I hope next up is Nightmare on Elm Street the original for but when I was a kid this used to, used to not scare me but and but you know made me doubt my own dreams especially with it's Freddy Krueger I mean here comes Freddy. I mean, come on, it's one of those iconic figures, scary figures of all time. Anyone who's seen the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1 knows that it's a pretty good movie. And um, I like, I've seen all the rest from 2 to West Craven's to Nightmare, and I like them. But not that much, but uh, the original I always liked, had a special place in my heart. And then the remake, um, it kind of holds the same as this one but a different story which is kind of new and I actually enjoyed the remake which I'm also kind of planning to get next time
Next is probably my favorite Stephen King movie, The Shining. Here's Johnny. I heard that they're gonna make a prequel and a sequel. Sorry, my battery went went down. So let's talk about again. They're gonna make a prequel and uh, and um, another movie. They're gonna make a sequel called. Doctor, Doctor something, the sequel, and the Orbital Hotel, the prequel. And they're gonna explain on up at the Orbital Hotel, something like that. That's what I heard. But yeah, here's Johnny. I love that that phrase. Next up is Shutter Island. Is most people thought it was like a like a psychological thriller. But I think that's how you say it. But I like it, I mean, it twisted with your mind, I mean, you never knew that he was, well, I don't, I don't want to make any spoilers, but the people who've seen it, you know what the ending is. Next, Sleepy Hollow, The Legend of the Headless Horseman. I remember seeing this probably when I was around 10, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, who hasn't heard the story of the horseman? Cut his head, came as they took at his head, and played by Christopher Walker, which made a great character, and especially Johnny Depp made a great role as Constable Crane. I'm almost done, guys, just three more. Um, John Carpenter's The Thing. This probably is the f only movie in my thought that has those effects without anything CG and so like actually no computers and all that. Unlike the prequel, the thing has a lot of CG and all that, but still enjoy it. And I actually got this thing two days ago, but I actually like it. And last but not least, Lords of the Dam, another John Comforter movie. And um, actually, this is a pretty good movie with, um, what's his name? Um, oh, what's his name? Christopher. Um, uh, Christopher Reeve, yeah, that's like a Christopher Reeve, the original Superman, may he rest in peace, with a great role as the doctor, and the thing that creeped me out about this movie is the children, I mean the eyes changing colors, and all that, so yeah, this is technically my armor collection, I don't have a big collection like I said before, but I'm planning to, and um, any, any, any of you recommend any horror movies to find, and where to find them, please just subscribe, just subscribe you know, leave me in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Sorry, my battery went, went down, so let's talk about, again, they're gonna make a prequel, and, uh, and, um, another movie, they're gonna make a sequel called Doctor, Doctor something, the sequel, and the Orbital Hotel, the prequel. They're gonna explain on up at the Orbital Hotel, something like that. That's what I heard. But yeah, here's Johnny. I love that that phrase. Next up is Shutter Island. Is most people thought it was like a like a psychological thriller, but I think that's how you say it. But I like it. I mean, it twisted with your mind. I mean, you never knew that he was. Well, I don't, I don't want to make any spoilers, but the people who've seen it, you know what the ending is. Next, Sleepy Hollow, The Legend of the Headless Horseman. I remember seeing this probably when I was around 10, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, who hasn't heard the story of the horseman? Cut his head, came as they took at his head and played by Christopher Walker, which made a great character, and especially Johnny Depp made a great role as Constable Crane. I'm almost done guys, just three more. Um, John Carpenter's The Thing. This probably is the f only movie in my thought that has those effects without anything CG and so like, actually no computers and all that. Unlike the prequel, the thing has a lot of CG and all that, but still enjoy it. And I actually got this thing two days ago, but I actually like it. 
And last but not least, Lords of the Damned. Another John Comforter movie. And um, actually, this is a pretty good movie with, um, what's his name? Um, oh, what's his name? Christopher, um, uh, Christopher Reeve? Yeah, that's like a Christopher Reeve. The Return of Superman, May he rest in peace with a great role as the Doctor. And the thing that creeped me out about this movie is the children, I mean the eyes changing colors and all that. So yeah, this is technically my armor collection. I don't have a big collection like I said before, but I'm planning to. And um, any, any, any of you recommend any horror movies to find and where to find them, please just, sus just subscribe and you know, leave me in comments. And I'll see you guys later.